Hello and welcome back to Vol Hunters, everybody. Hello. Hello. Oh, lovely day it is. Lovely day to do oh, some oh. galore. Ben isn't very well today, are you, Ben? Oh, boy. Uh, hello. Oh, oh my ben. voice oh, now. He's, he's losing his voice. So you, <laughs> ben you can, is you robot, can be a little though, quiet ben. if you like. Oh, it's all right. It's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> it sounds worse than it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's always good. Maybe, maybe I can be cool voiceover guy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Say Previously on Vault Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's nice. Wow. It's always it's always so like I always so blue booed by the end, thinking it's always the trailer. <laughs> 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 Can I watch the damn movie yet? <laughs> oh, they don't do that anymore. You don't get like I missed, a previously yeah, I the old on. voiceover trailers. Oh yeah. In a world of darkness, one man yeah. has a light or something. I don't know. <laughs> one man. <laughs> I feel like you're fucking up your voice Even more. Yeah, that is making it way worse, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it is fun. It is fun to be movie man. And now trailers are just <laughs> just like a little super cut. Oh, do you know what pisses me off more than anything in trailers these days? It's the fade to black. It's like one second of scene, one second of black. One second of scene, yeah, one second like, of black. And it's, it's like it's 50% to... not a trailer. Yeah, it's just 50% no video. And it's like the first yeah. time, it's like the fucking horns. The first time I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's dramatic. And now I've seen it a thousand times and I hate it's it. It's just like fucking stop. Yeah. Find the stop movies. The worst. Like, I'm, I'm throwing trash out of our computer into my deletion yeah, bag. Yeah, I'm watching you. It's very, it's like, it's with Satisfying. strange. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm just, I'm conscious that, like, all of the little bits in our computer are actually taking up a lot of space. Mm, yeah, it's actually made a bit of space in the computer doing that. Because it's not, okay. like, massive amounts of stuff. It's just more, there's loads of little random stacks of bits. Mm. Do we um, charge a, a crystal? Oh, we need seven yeah. nether stars of fuck. Yeah, don't oh, yeah, do, no, don't no, do no, it. No one's cursed. I, I'm, I'm magic. <laughs> I have magic crystal powers. That one is the fucked one. Magic will, crystal powers. Yeah, Ben's got the lucky ulti, don't you? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, there you yeah, go. Look at that. It's like one nether or four arrows, a magma, and two like apples. <laughs> like that. Oh, we'll slowly get it. for our magma, <laughs> magma <laughs> stack. Do you want to stick some gubbins on this bad boy? Um. Yeah. What? What, what do we want to add to it? Got? Well, I'm sa I'm saving all of our ornate catalysts for when we burgy or rush up to level 100, so we can get gear to do the final vault. I think Fair. that's a good strategy. So we just do one big ornate vault, get loads mm. of gear, but wait till we're then, at the highest level. Yeah, wait till wait till we're at the, like the highest armor tier level. Uh, we could do coins. We could do gilded. We could do we could do a big wooden big. Big wooden is kind of fun. Oh, I like big wooden. Because it's just so many chests. It's just <laughs> yeah. kind of stupid. All right, do you want to toss me the crystal? Oh, I've stuck it in stuff. the blue chest over here. Okay. Well, do, we, do you want a scav or do you want a elixir? What do you want? Oh, uh, whatever. I don't have any bounties right now. All right, let's run an elixir. Yeah, I should really check my bounties. Oh, we've, got, we've got a chaos in here we've got to do as well. Oh, let's do that. What do you want to do first? Chaos. Oh man, speaking of um, movies, I watched um, the new Mission Impossible last night. Oh, I'm so yes. sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> Part one. Yeah, that's why I didn't go to the cinema. Part after it. The, one. The trailer came out and I was like, that that looks cool. And then after it's like, you know, face to black, it shows the title and says part one. And it just made me immediately <laughs> roll my eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I got around to it because I was like, you know, these films are usually all right. Um, and we were in the mood for a dumb action movie. Mm. And I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten my favorite thing about the Mission Impossible films, where, like, the head of the CIA goes on, like, a monologue about what an incredible, unstoppable badass Ethan Hunt is um, just before he does something, like, really cool. But it's, said, it's delivered with such a straight face and such, like, um, earnestness that... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like Tom Cruise thinks he's making the most badass thing you've ever seen, but it's actually like totally cringe. Super <laughs> lame. And I love it. There's this one bit where, like, not in this movie, in the previous ones, it's like a little clip I like to play back occasionally where Alec Baldwin's talking to like the president or something. And he's like, I'm going to get this slightly wrong. Wait, didn't long... he do a murder? How is he in movies? Uh, this was five years Old ago. One. Oh, okay. Um, and um, he was like, there is no secret he cannot learn. There is no facility he cannot breach. He is an um, 
He is the manifestation of it. No, he is the living manifestation of destiny, and he has made you his mission. <laughs> oh my God! What? Wow! And That's in this powerful movie, stuff. What powerful <laughs> stuff, right? I've like, only seen the first one, and he wasn't that badass. <laughs> <laughs> He gets more what badass happens? with every movie. Is he like a point- superhero now? <clears throat> He's the living manifestation of destiny, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. And that as is soon the as fucking he, worst. As soon as he finishes that, the, like, the guy in the room next to him pulls out a gun, shoots the president, pulls his rubber mask off, and the music like <laughs> plays, goes off to a crescendo as it reveals, it's Tom Cruise, and he was there all along <laughs> listening to this guy go on about how great he is. <laughs> He's got a fucking hard on. Just for rubbing his dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say it more. <laughs> and in this movie, the line was um, some guy briefing his like CIA troops before they try to take him down. And they're like, if you get a shot, you don't have a shot. Because he is a mind-reading, shape-changing agent of chaos. And he cannot be stopped. Now, if you've got a shot, you don't have a shot. <laughs> yeah. Script written by five-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool if you do this, then you say, you've got a shot. <laughs> just, oh, I just party. love it. That's my favourite part of every Mission Impossible film. It's just the big, the big Tom Cruise like jerk off sesh. <laughs> Does he write them? <laughs> I'm sure. Um, um, I'm sure he has like. Um, he definitely uh, has say. He has he? say. Like he can have anything added or removed from the script. I'm sure. Yeah. And that po- I reckon they probably just do that because it's funny. <laughs> they just feel like they're just like just let oh, him do it. Yeah. It's be so dumb. <laughs> just let him do it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just let him do it. Make, make it make it bigger than the last one. Make it yeah, sillier. Yeah. <laughs> I think the new one flopped quite badly, didn't it? It did. Yeah. What was the cool trick he did in the new one? He did a big yump on a motorbike. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's so he's so amazing, guys. <laughs> that, oh, that's my other this favorite is what he thing. Wants. We have to feed Tom's ego. <laughs> that's my favorite other thing about Tom Cruise, right? He obviously is quite talented at like doing stunts and shit, right? Um, but yeah, he's insane. He's, he's just clearly <laughs> so important and so like wish. egotistical or whatever it is that he's so Tom Cruisey that. Mm. Um, people, I think, are scared to tell him that he rides motorbikes wrong. Because once oh. you notice it, every time he's riding a motorbike in a movie, he's doing it wrong. Like, when you when you take he's a corner, doing it wrong. you're meant to lean into turns on motorbikes, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's how it works. But every well, time he takes kind a of, corner... The, the forces will just tip you over. Yeah. So what he does is he half leans, and he's kind of vertical, and he sticks his leg out, like, as if to, like, catch himself oh. if he falls. Um, which oh. is like, if you've had motorbike lessons, they like say, you snap your leg, don't you? They're like day one, stop that, like, <laughs> like stop doing <laughs> that. But it's like your instincts. What you do on like a, you know, if you're if you're not confident on a push bike, you might do that because like you feel like you're wobbly, right? But on a motorbike, they're like, no, you've got the power to like lean in and and take this corner. You stop sticking your leg out. But he does it. He's been riding motorbikes for like twenty years, but I think he's too. Tom Cruisey for anyone to tell him or if they've tried to tell him he's just laughed at them and told them they're wrong maybe it's, maybe it's just like a movie thing maybe it like, looks better he's like this, the, the kids <laughs> love the leg yeah <laughs> Because I can't imagine, the like, he would must have taken, like, proper, like, training. Oh, I'm lessons. sure he's had, like, proper, you know, expert stunt teachers and shit, right? But they think they were just, like, too scared to tell him that he looks like an idiot when he's doing it. What is this? <laughs> or he's it's just been cool. like, I've been riding bikes for 20 years. I know, think I know what I'm doing. I'm going to carry on doing it my stupid way. Or you just get <laughs> fired on the spot when, you know, you, you tell yeah, him. Yeah, maybe you do. Like, literally, like, maybe you correct him and he nods and it. agrees. And then an assistant comes up to you as soon as Tom Cruise has left. And just shoots you in the head. <laughs> Yeah. It's like not in Tom's world. <laughs> <laughs> Did you question Tom? We told you about this. I didn't bring any blocks of me. Oh no. I'm gonna get so lost. <laughs> Shit. Just use your compass. Have your compass always pointing back. Uh, yeah, you want a straight compass. That's how you know you're going well, the right straight way. with a little bit of an angle for me and Duncan, but yeah, oh, yeah of course. <laughs> I don't know. I got I got really curious and just like went down a Wikipedia hole about like what the fuck's going on with Tom Cruise. <laughs> what is going on with this guy? And that's just not even with like without like the Scientology madness. Mm. You know, oh, yeah. all, all of that. God, there are a lot of wooden chests. <laughs> oh god, I'm very I've been doing this mining room all day. <laughs> oh, get down to some wooden chests, bro. Oh, okay. oh, fuck, I forgot Tasty. to bring food for some reason. I forgot to bring my blocks. You can oh. use vault sweets from the wooden chest. Oh you can. They're kinda of shit though. Yeah, but it's some food. Vogged. Oh, I got a cove. What? We, 
the Omega coin room. Like a dragon Aww. room, but just with no like a pirate no dragon. code. I just finished my first room. You're only what? in your first room? I know, I've, and I finished my I finished my glop on room one. Wow. <laughs> I, I oh, yeah, think I was also getting Ome Omega glop. I was getting like insane glop from wooden. Oh. I finished mine in like a second. Yeah. Go mine some wooden PIs. There's absolutely shit on the chest. Which uh, which celebrity would you follow into their cult? Their cult madness Ooh. with no questions. Is there someone who's got a real Ooh. grasp on you? It's tricky, really. Like it's that's hard not to turn into a sex thing. <laughs> okay, which, I see. Two straight men. Which male celebrity would you follow <laughs> blindly with your brain, not your penis? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you follow with your penis as well. I don't know. That's not for me to know. Harry, this this cult sounding worse and worse all the time. I mean, you're not you're not making a sale this here. This crazy sexless cult that Harry's invented. Yeah. The cult. Welcome. Yeah. Well, we've really found a way to make cults less fun. Fucking hell. I don't know. Henry Cavill was like, we're going to fucking get ripped and play Warhammers. Would you, oh, would you follow? I'd be like, can I be a special member who doesn't have to get ripped? <laughs> who doesn't have to play Warhammer? I can't be bothered to get ripped. Can I not, can I not play Tempest? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. You know, can I, like, we'll make a new position. I'll be like a deacon or like a, you know, um, yeah. Chaplain. Chaplain or something, yeah. Just like some guy who's like, you know, like they're not a making. Ma advisory role. <laughs> exactly. You know, when you yeah. go to like the wall in Westeros, they're not making Maester Eamon like sit out in the cold, are they? No, but it would be funny. They really fucked up <laughs> not just sending out the grandpas. <laughs> yeah. I honestly, that, I, there was this whole thing recently about, you know, oh God, you're going to have to get ready to do your national service. Oh God, yeah. Like the head and of the I army was, was like. like all these fucking old people were like, yeah, yeah, this is, you know, this is right. And I'm like, none of you people <laughs> did national service. Well, it's interesting. Like, how, like, they're the only generation that didn't because our <laughs> yeah. national service was in until like the 70s. <laughs> and so I feel like, fuck it, let's send in the old fuckers. You haven't got more long left. You know, you still got a, life, a lot of life experience, and you're clearly and, very passionate about it. Well, exactly. Yeah. They, they seem like they know everything. So, so really? I feel yeah. like you know that's that in my book puts you straight up there. You know, on the front lines, get in Top there, lad. List. Yeah, pick up, pick up an AK, and let's go. <laughs> also, boomer is quite a good name for like a, a soldier. That's kind of oh, scary. Yeah, join the boomer division. <laughs> They've dropped the boomer division. <laughs> yeah. no, that is good. We just put bombs inside all of them because we don't want them back. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Which celebrity would you follow into a cult? Um, which know. ones aren't crazy? Yeah. Well, they have to be a bit crazy to start a cult with me and want me in right. it. That's <laughs> like, Ben, I need you for my cult that's project. The, that's the thing. I think I immediately judge anyone who wants to recruit me specifically. <laughs> Makes me okay, question you're not their decision making. <laughs> it's just like you saw it and you're like, "Wow, this is such a cool idea, Mr. McKellen." <laughs> you know? Oh, Mr. McKellen, I would, be like, I would follow. I would follow him to Mount Doom. Yeah, like a whole like Gandalfy cult thing. That'd be Absolutely. pretty neat. If he stays in character, I'm in. Oh yeah, my he's God, very yes. to the character. <laughs> He like kind of annoyingly so like please change your robes like you haven't washed in years. Is he gonna like full name me when I'm naughty? <laughs> yes. What, be, what if he just puts on the character he had on fucking extras? <laughs> oh I loved yeah, him with extras. That would that not be so, so good. good. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was so funny. I wouldn't follow him. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about you, Harry? Who's your? Who's I don't your, know. Uh, I mean, I always say my favourite celebrity is Ryan Gosling, but then I'm I'm also too hipster now that. After the Barbie movie, I thought like oh, I he's can't too mainstream. Anymore. Yeah, he's everyone knows. Uh, Ken cut himself out of my fucking top list. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, sorry, Ryan, if you're listening. Uh, oh no, who would I follow to the end of the earth on their weird cultish event? I do I think, think Ian McKellen. I would just trust. Yeah, he's very yeah. trustworthy. Which yeah. I feel like is is good. That's what you want you in a cult that. leader, right? Absolutely. Um. Oh my god, I just did an ultra bend. I've got 45 wooden chest loot. That's oh like the fucking polar opposite of your challenge. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I, think, I mean, Vigo does seem like a pretty cool guy. I mean, Matt Patrick. Berry would be very funny. Oh. I mean, even if we're like all like suicide pacting, I'd at least be laughing think, while we're yeah. doing it. Do you think the, the Matt Berry thing would get old? 
Oh, <laughs> yes. I mean, by the end, I'd be like, please suicide pact me. Like, <laughs> yeah. I've been with Matt Berry for 20 years. It feels like one of those things that's like, I love it in small doses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I if he was just like, you need, you need that desire for the end, Ben. <laughs> like, yeah. Fetch me my oils, cultists. <laughs> <laughs> Start rubbing. <laughs> like, oh, God, Matt. Please, <laughs> please, it's not funny. <laughs> no one's laughing anymore. We haven't laughed in five years. <laughs> I, I think I'd, I'd become a real vampire if I could. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, it'd be, like, it'd be great. What, is there a point where you're like, you know what, I'm now... Like, being a vampire in your 20s, fucking cool. Is there mm. a point where you're like, oh, I'm actually a bit old to be a vampire. I don't know if I want eternity in my 60-year-old body. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I guess it's quite I easy guess, to walk I guess outside, you, like, right? Oh, that's true. You, you all your like aches and pains go away, at least. Do they? Because those yeah, some of those ancient vampires feel like they're full of aches and pains. Yeah, it doesn't well, look like like arms falling off and true. shit. Like it's not great. You know, like Mr. Burns in Bram Stoker's Dracula, or Gary Oldman. <laughs> yeah, he's not that like, young and sexy, is he? <laughs> like, <laughs> I always pity those vampires that get turned when they're kids. Like, oh, that's, that's rough, fucking, isn't it? That is rough. And they always well, seem—it's like the baby vampire from what we do in the shadows. That's like he thought it would be funny. <laughs> they never fully like mature either. They're always no. a bit like fucked up. It's kind like, of scuff. like child actors, I guess. Mm. They have a pretty low, you know, chance of, of being normal. Yeah. yeah, being a child actor is kind of one of like like it's kind of like a dream job as a child. Like, oh, wow, I wish mm. I could be, you know, Daniel Radcliffe. I wish I could be. I feel like it always just scuffs you up. Almost it's not Daniel worth Radcliffe it. and Emma Watson seem to be some of the only child actors who aren't completely. I feel like up. even then you've got to be a. Li it's got to have fucking done something to your brain, just your ego, mm. just every, like. They, they seem certainly on the lesser end of fucked up. I agree, but still, it's got to like have messed with you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so. Being insanely famous and insanely yeah. wealthy from the like age Macaulay of twelve. Macaulay Culkin has not had the most normal life, has he? No, he's, like. he's not the most normal looking guy after all of it either, <laughs> yeah. as well. Does anyone else look at Macaulay Culkin and just like think you okay? Like he just yeah. looks. I have always thought that. <laughs> Every time he just I see him. looks so worried all yeah. the time. Like he's just <laughs> he broken. Like Inside he's and out. a sneaky fart and everyone's going to smell it. Like, <laughs> like, what is going on with that guy? Like, what? I don't know enough about him. Like, I'm like the wrong generation. No, I don't know like, much, the wrong much age. about him. Well, he, um, like, he emancipated himself from his parents. Um, okay. Which means, like, he was, you know, because he was so rich, like, he could pay I a emancipated lawyer. Emancipated is the word we use for slavery. He yeah. emancipated himself. Well, like, what do you want to say? Like, that's the term they use. But wow, like, that's it's crazy. like divorcing your parents, and then you are like an adult suddenly, mm. went before you normally would be. What's fading? Oh shit! We just get that's out. That's a bad here. one. That's the really bad one. That's oh, the no heal. Oh, you can't heal. <laughs> oh, that's really bad for my thorns build. I tell you what. Right. Yeah, that's not not optimal. Neither of my things done. Boo. You didn't do either of your bounties? No. What were they? Odd. I might smoke oh. erratic iron, though. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, good. Very good. You do have a lot of fucking loot, though. Yeah, it was a tasty one. I got two lost bounties in that one, so you guys want some oh, bounties. Oh, wow. Whoa. Did, got it in one chest, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. Oh, we got another one in there. Okay, so everyone, there's lost bounties in the computer. Everyone take one. Oh, great. Oh, perfect. Kill 32 shit. Dweller mobs. But I do get a trinket. Dweller's easy. Yeah, I can do that. Slowly do that. Okay. We want to make fissile fuel. And I've got a flow chart here to show us how to do it. Flow chart? Oh, go on then. Flow so, charting yeah. time. This is what we need. <laughs> That's a hell of a chart. Honestly, Duncan, that chart makes it look worse than it is. Uh, so, kitchen sink is for water. But obviously, we don't have a kitchen sink, right? Yeah, we do. Do we? Yep. I love how like, everything starts with a kitchen sink. That is just it's very great. funny. I'm 90% I'm certain we have a kitchen sink. Are you sure? I think you it's search sink. Sink. There's yep, a lot there you go, them, sink. There's a sink, sure. multi-block sink. Just top one. Provides water to recipes. It uses an infinite water bucket. It's quite expensive, but we, at this point, the game's cheap. Infinite water bucket ain't, that, ain't nothing. All right, let's make that then. Let's start off with a kitchen sink. Start <laughs> with the sink. Okay. Kitchen sink, then that produces water, and that needs to get sent to a rotary condensator and an electrolytic separator. Mm. Do you reckon we can get a um, 
I, I reckon the best way to do terminal it. Terminal out here. Oh what? Terminal. Can we get terminal out outside? What think? I was going to say is, if you just read it to me, I can just click craft on the things. Okay. I'll, I'll happily just sit at a computer if you just because we can't. It's kind of hard to do both. Okay, mm. we want a what do we electrolytic need? separator and a rotary constant. Condensentrator. Condensentrator. Okay, we, need, we, we need gold dust and iron dust, but that doesn't feel like that's going to be too difficult to make. Okay, gold dust and iron dust. And osmium dust, but I think we have some of that. No, and osmium dust. We should, so I just need to go in crushers, basically, I think. I th okay, let's... Yeah, just put a gold bar and an iron bar into the crusher and an osmium bar and two osmium bars into the crushers. You just need to crush them? Yep. It's not like uh, no, machines no, no. for it? Okay. What was the what was the next one you needed after the separator? A rotary condensator. Magic steel and put it in a thing. Do you want to build yeah, more of the um nuclear reactor base, Ben? Make it look yeah. not like a fucking pile of <laughs> shit. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do I mean? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying all these things. They're lies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> it looks so amazing. <laughs> well, we don't need to do that many. Jesus Christ. Well, you know. I don't know Chromax Steel well. is like our like choke point at the moment. Chromax Steel. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Okay, isotropic centrifuge made. Okay, that's. I think that's everything. And then we need obviously like need wires and pipes and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make a little chest down in the area and just put all of these machines in it. Uh, so like, uranium. I'll just set the digit mine out to get some more in case we need more. I'm going to mine a uh, cable hole over to the building. A cable hole. A cable hole. Mechanism uranium. Is there any... Can I use power uranium? I don't think so. I th and I think it. I think it's pretty happy to do whatever. I think I've just Googled like nuclear power plants and um, they are not... The pr they're just like grey cubes like boxes with grey pipes. <laughs> Why people don't want them next to their houses? <laughs> yeah. They are not the most exciting yeah, of films. The reason. There we go. Ben, yeah, that's the, that's the only <laughs> reason. the only reason. I've got a crafting grid here. Oh, the computer's off. Shit. Uh, I'm going to go and turn off the uh, digital miner. <laughs> Fuck me. Is it still that it, gets it just eats out all our batteries in like five minutes. Kind of insane. Bit of chicken and egg problem here, haven't we? Why is it mining osmium? Yeah, we need power to make the power. <laughs> yep, that instantly is filling up the computer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we could detach all the train stuff. There's a lot of like big upgraded um, importers and stuff. It's not using any power unless it's, unless it's working. Oh, really? I think oh. no. I think it does. Yeah. I think it idly uses it. Really? Yeah, you can go into the controller, and we have you know we're using twenty nine FE on a one importer. Yeah, it counts oh. all the importers separately of how many upgrades they've got. And, does, he's like, I mean, it's just got, the ultra conduit. It's just so huge. <laughs> so, like that train has got mega suckers on it to make it like unload. Yeah. Really fast. It does have three mega suckers. I think it's fine. Just we just this th we're literally building hopefully I the know, power it, solution. It, we've got enough power until we turn on the digital miner, so it's fine. Yeah. And the, the reason we want to build this is so we can use digital miner. So let's not yes. fix a problem we're trying to fix. Yeah. Because <laughs> then we'd have nothing to do. Already fixing that problem. <laughs> <laughs>